Welcome back. Time to find out what we got wrong and what we missed from TV's Andy Levy over in the Red Eye News Deck. Hey, Andy. Hey, Tom. How are you? Good. Uh, children's dumb letters to Trump. Uh, Joe, you said if you don't want your kids to be scared, don't scare your kids. Yes. Or at least give them some Xanax or something. <laughs> something like that. Dope right? them up. Yeah. You know, I, I don't. I think some of those letters weren't written by children. No. Because it just looked like that. Get because, out. No, because the parents were literally shaking. <laughs> you <laughs> might be right. Like yeah. Child <laughs> yeah. But you also, uh, along those lines, you said these are the same parents with the fake Facebook statuses, like, you know, mommy, why won't the bad man approve Merrick Garland for the Supreme Court and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. My four-year-old triplets, Lynn, Manuel, and Miranda, are not happy with you right now. <laughs> yeah. I think the rule is you can't be woke if you still have nap time. <laughs> That's a pretty good rule. Yeah, okay, that works. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I didn't have nap time. <laughs> uh, John, you said this is a form of child abuse. Yeah. Also, don't you think any time you've inserted your little kids into a political debate, you've lost? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of like bringing up Hitler, isn't it? Yeah, well, we, there's a lot of that going around, too. <laughs> yeah. But the whole kids thing, like, it's not cute, it's not adorable, it's not funny, it's not meaningful. It's just, it's creepy. Right, it's creepy that you're, that you're propagandizing your own kids. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. Uh, Courtney, you said that your kids have learned by osmosis that Trump is a bully. Mm -hmm. Isn't it true, though, that you are the real bully? Isn't it true that, in fact, you <laughs> go around making little kids cry? Check, can we roll that tape, please? <laughs> are you going to miss your mom? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> <laughs> so the saddest thing about that video is that it's a meme for everything, and I'm not getting any residual. <laughs> That's much sadder than the kid crying about missing his mom. I think PLA because they're the ones that yeah. push that everywhere. Yeah, you're, and people were mad at me. That's for sure. Yeah, you're the real victim there, not the, <laughs> not the crying kid missing his mom. <laughs> Uh, Stupid kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, also, Courtney, you said your son says if he ever sees Trump in the, uh, he's going to punch him in the face. Mm -hmm. I believe the Secret Service would like a word with the lad. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're working on that. We're doing okay. meditation. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Yoga, Zen, California okay. stuff. All right, that's, yeah, the Secret Service, they're really into that as an excuse. So <laughs> that should work. Uh, Trump meets with the New York Times. John, you said Trump likes to berate people to their faces, but doesn't he also like to be liked? Isn't that why he meets with the New York Times and says things like he's open-minded on climate change accords? Yeah, he likes to please his... I mean, he's a salesman really yeah. at heart, and so he's going to try and please his customers, and I think showing up there... I mean, he'll kind of tell people what they want to hear. Right. That's what he does on the stump, and... Um, so I'm not sure that, you know, the, the conservatives want him spending time in that building. You that's know, he'll give away the store. Yeah, that's a good point, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Trump supporters are furious over his broken promise to jail Hillary. Shalou, you said you believe Breitbart News has been pro-Trump. Yeah, I've read a couple of stories that seem to give him <laughs> yeah. a fair shake. I, I hadn't noticed, but yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take your word for it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, Shalou, wouldn't you say that, you know, him not now jailing the Clintons, it's almost like he doesn't mean what he says and he's just another ordinary politician? Yeah, or he's got a lot on his plate now. Maybe, you know, oh, once he it? saw the responsibilities ahead of him. Sure, sure. He doesn't have as much time for yeah. putting crooked Hillary in jail. Uh-huh, sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, Cotter, you said pardoning Hillary is basically, you know, he's extending an olive branch. Just to clear this up, he's not saying he's going to pardon her. He's saying he's not going to prosecute her, which, by the way, isn't even the president's call. But. Yeah, but, I mean, he's, he's saying that it's on the back burner, right? Yeah, he's no, I agree with your point. I'm going to yeah. make America great. That's not my... My thing, and again, having to be stuck with Bill Clinton is punishment enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, schools teaching kids that Disney movies provo promote racism, sexism, etc. Uh, Shalou, you said Beauty and the Beast proves that you don't have to be good looking for someone to fall in love with you, and that that's a good message. Yeah. Yeah, the point here is that it's a beautiful woman falling in love with an ugly man, and it's never the other way around in these movies. Uh huh. Yeah. That is true. Well, and that's also a feminist message. Guys could learn from that. You know, women are able to see through, uh -huh. uh, you know, see the beauty. Right. So maybe guys could, you know. So the feminist message is you can be an ugly dude and still get a hot chick. You know, if. Uh, as long as you have a castle. Yeah. Right. I yeah. mean, his, his house okay. was pretty big. Yeah. Try doing wait, it with one didn't, bedroom. Didn't Tom Hanks fall in love with a fish, you know, <laughs> at one point? That was a damn Flash? good looking fish. Yeah. Good looking yeah. fish. Yeah. Good looking yeah. fish. Yeah. But she had gills. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe, you talked about Snow White. Yeah, uh, do, I often do. I, I, I noticed that about you, and I, I have someone I'd like you to talk to after the show. Uh, I'll give you their card. Mm. Uh, this Snow White, it's basically you got a stranger kissing a sleeping woman, which is, is sort of sexual assault, isn't it? 
Absolutely. Hey, that Prince Charming gets around. Yeah. He does. He's yeah. popping up. It's his M.O. Yeah, it's, it's more like Prince sexual assault. <laughs> yeah, that's catchy. <laughs> Man, thanks. <laughs> yeah. That's actually Bill Cosby's favorite nursery. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, Hampshire College is done with flags. John, you said that what they're doing is like sending a letter to the alumni saying, please don't give us any more money. Yeah, this, ma this makes me wish, this whole story makes me wish that I had gone to Hampshire College and that I were a big donor so I could yeah, stop. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Joe, you said the president's response to the students who wanted to lower the flag after Trump won should have been no. Yes. Uh, you, are, you are correct on that, factually. Yes. That's <laughs> yeah. yes. uh, Also, you said uh, you remember when you know, the deans would say uh, drunk, fat, and stupid is no way to go through life. Mm. It's fat, drunk, and stupid. Not, oh, not drunk, fat, and stupid. Uh, then I stand uh, arms budsman. <laughs> uh, Courtney, you said if you don't like our country, you are free to leave. Mm -hmm. Sure, but you're also free to protest and try to change things, aren't you? Uh, yes, and I've been covering all of the protesters for a while now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I would like them to stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's job security for you. Sadly, I know. I have like scripts that I just yeah, pull up go. and it's like Mad Libs. I fill in the blanks. Absolutely. Uh, Shalou, you said Hampshire College ain't cheap. Yeah. Uh, with, for tuition, room, and board, you're looking at 62 grand a year. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Maybe removing the flags was a cost-cutting measure. <laughs> well, that's, uh, isn't burning the school's American flag a criminal act? Like, you would yeah. think. You burn your own flag. Okay, fine. Yeah. I, that's completely covered by the Constitution. It's your property. Be an idiot. Do what you want. This yeah. is someone else's property that you burned. Yeah, you'd think there would be some sort of uh, repercussion for that, but yeah. no. But apparently the answer is yeah. just well, okay, we won't have flags anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a criminal comes in your house and steals your stuff, and you're like, well, I guess I won't buy stuff anymore. <laughs> Unless he's trying to start a conversation, Andy. Well, that, that's a fair point. As criminals are wont to do. Uh, I am done. Thank you, Andy. Yep.